Well, hello there. <laughs> I am just kind of tidying up. Um, I just watered these aloe vera babies and cut away two little things that look like they were not happy. So hopefully they are gonna grow nice and happy and healthy. Uh, I see little baby things growing out, so I think we're okay. I'm gonna put once they kind of drain, I'm gonna put them by the windowsill where they belong. I've, I've seen some people kind of tie these things up. I, I don't know if I should. I did it before they didn't look like they were very happy about it. So I don't know. I like these plants. I don't know if these plants like me. <coughs> Today I'm gonna do a project that is like a flip. Yeah, I guess like a flip. Um, it's a friend's dress. <coughs> Sneezing attack. It's a friend's dress and um, it's very meaningful especially because um, it's a dress her mother bought for her and her mother had passed for quite some years and she would like to turn this dress into something she could use um, regularly so I'm gonna make it maybe into like a zipper um, zipper pouch or a tote. Um, I kind of drew it out yesterday uh, something simple that she can maybe throw it into her daily um, commute bag and you know bring it to work with her. She's also a nail artist, so maybe something she could bring with her um, on a daily basis on her commute. Um, she's in New York, New York City, so you know she, she commutes on the subway every day. So that's the plan today. Need to stop procrastinating. I already made second cup of coffee. Already drank it. Already had breakfast number two. So now I need to take out my drafting table and uh, set up to draw the pattern for the tote or I mean the zipper pouch and then we get it started. Actually, sewing in the room is okay too, uh, but I like the lighting outside here a lot better because I've got huge windows in the living room, so I might try to film part of the process. So having the lighting from the windows I think would be really good. Um, okay, drafting paper. This is, I try to reuse paper that uh, comes in the, you know, the Amazon packages that has the paper. And it, that they um, stuff it in so stuff don't move the move around. So I try to use the paper in there uh, for drafting purposes if they are not too wrinkled. If they're very wrinkled, I try to iron them out and then reuse them. This is my hobby closet. I need to ship this out, so I need to stop procrastinating. Just finish up the very last bit of it and let the customer know it is done and I can ship out to her. So I am going to collect my scissors and stuff that I would need. Uh, rotary cutter, scissors, uh, short ruler. And these things out. They're going to come out with me. Oh, 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 hello kitchen. Hello living room. This is more like a vlog type of style today instead of like a tutorial. A little bit more informal. I think it's more fun, right? So let's do it like this. Today actually feels like a really nice day. And we have friends in the pond today. I don't know if you can see, let's see. They're flapping the wings. Okay, got distracted. Let's get back in. I drafted these guys. I didn't really put in measurements, whatnot. I figured today when I draft it out, I will I'll put all the measurements in. So this is something I made for myself. I think this is a good um, size to kind of slip it into like a commute tote uh, for her to bring on a daily basis. So I think I'm gonna go with this size and then see how much fabric we have left. Uh, this is the fabric or the dress actually that um, 
she has sent me. Half and what did I say this was? Six. Six? What does it look like? A little bit more than five and a half. Five and three quarters. Mm, the base. Two and a half. Six and a half. Which makes sense. One and a half. Okay, so this is the base. And everything we cut to, we cut two. So this will be the base for this. And I am going to use this as the lining. I think this would be really well. Uh, I don't want to use any interfacing for this since I'm using this um, as the lining. It will give it some body. So let's, um, I need the dimensions for the lining too. So that's that, so that's the lining. Times two. And let's draft. Okay, let's draft these babies. Let's draw a horizontal line. So let's do, so this is nine and a half. Let's mark here. Nine and a half. Um, so I want to draw a perpendicular line first and then measure. Do you guys talk to yourself when you're doing stuff? I, when I do nails, when I'm working on a client, I try not to talk to myself out loud. Sometimes I do, and I do warn them that I am talking to myself out loud, and they understand, and they say they do that too to make me feel better. They're very nice people. And we're gonna cut this um, pattern out. Okay, drafting, take two. I really <laughs> drafted the correct one with the seam allowance. And let's toss these guys away so I don't get confused. Corduroy has a pattern, right? Like, do you see it? So I want to, I want to have the vertical pattern. This is a rather small piece of pattern. I just do two pins or sometimes I just cheat a little bit use my hand to hold it on the fabric and call it a day instead of using um, pattern weight. Here's a new blade and let's get this baby off and put a new one in. Let's do the lining. I'm gonna cut this one at a time because it is like a thicker fabric. Lining. Oh baby, this new blade is amazing. Oh, look at this beautiful cut. Boom. I love it. Let's see. At least almost center. I'm gonna do more pins for this one. iron this zipper end first before sewing it. So this is the first step typically for me um, to prep the zipper and then we can sew. 
Oh my god, this is nine and a half. It should be ten and a half. That includes seam allowance. So I have to cut again. Let's do this again. Can't believe I did that. Well, actually, I can. So, perfect opportunity actually for me to kind of slide on the zipper head on camera. Open up a little bit. Slide in the tape, both sides push it down. Boom, magic. This is the zipper. I am going to sew up the ends right here. We are going to sew this. We are going to sew this up. Okay, I've sewn up the base to the body and then I have top stitched both sides. And now let's, and I also did the zipper. So now we finally have the correct length of zipper. I am tidying up my space a little bit because that mistake like twice. I thought the first time was a mistake and then I realized the 10 and a half inch adding the seam allowance was a mistake. I got super pissed at myself. So I think after I pin the zipper to the body of the bag, I am going to take a lunch break and then come back again on camera to continue this. There we go, because I need the side to be sewn to that side. Okay, I'm gonna take a large break. Good morning, it is the next day and I didn't finish the pouch yesterday. Um, I ended up just making dinner, early dinner, and then cleaning up my workroom because I did have an appointment with a client yesterday. Uh, in case you didn't know, I'm also a nail artist that works independently out of my own work studio. So my schedule is very flexible. So I am trying to do some videos like this uh, because I love to sew as well. And I'm going to do some nail art tutorial, which I have posted two nail art tutorial. One is a do my nails with me type of video. Another one is a nail art tutorial on. So I wish to do more videos like that in the future. And I started doing the videos because I wanted to capture moments with my family. Um, I visit my family in Singapore once a year, now twice a year. Um, so I love to kind of immortalize these moments and in a YouTube video form to share with my friends and family. And I have gone back and rewatched the videos I posted in February when I was back. And I, I'm glad I started it because those are really precious memories to me. And right now I'm gonna start making coffee. So let me show you um, my process. <laughs> This is my little coffee corner. This grinder is a new addition. Well, I just started using freshly ground coffee from the grinder. Very, very pleased with it. So this is the um, coffee beans I have been using. It is from a local roaster and I press. I am not very particular about the temperature and stuff like that. I know I should be. People who are very into like the pour over coffee are very, very, um, particular about the temperature of the water that they use. Yeah, it's a bit messy, but I don't mind. The cleanup is not terrible. I think it's okay. This is not a very precise <laughs> type of coffee brewing. Uh, I like the whole process. A lot of times my husband makes it for me in the morning, which is very nice. Um, I make another cup for myself in the afternoon as well. It's it's a nice little ritual, I should say. And it just feels good to kind of slow down and make something. I love to support local coffee places too, but there is something about making it with your own two hands. At some point, maybe I would like to get a temp control um, kettle. The smell is amazing. My kitchen in general is not very aesthetic. It's functional, it's simple. I try to have things put away, tucked away, so things are not everywhere. That's what I care about most. Um, see all these bunch of cables here. It's fine, I really don't care. It's a white counter that I have black appliances on. I have had this kettle for a couple years. 
I like this brand, it's an Austrian brand and the coffee grinder is the same brand as well. So actually I kind of look, I like how it looks on the counter, like the same brand appliances. We have been renting and you know, in different apartments, the counter is going to have different colors. Um, and the cabinets are going to be of different colors, so I'm not picky about it. And I'm pretty happy renting right now. For us, it works and I don't need a house. Sometimes I would drink it black. In the afternoon, I would drink it black, but in the morning, I like it with a little bit of oat milk. It's a little bit, I feel like it's a little bit easier on the stomach. Let's use the Hong Kong cup today. We have this collection of Starbucks cup. Let me show you. Do you see the Starbucks cup? Yeah, we don't need a collection of Starbucks cup. But uh, my husband seemed to be very into it, so we have a collection of Starbucks cup, which is very unnecessary, but if he likes it, sure. I forgot the oat milk, it's very satisfying. My morning cup of coffee. So today actually my husband is away. Um, was away yesterday so this morning I get to make my own coffee which I quite enjoy a lot of times but it is also quite a um, luxury to come out of the bedroom and he hands me a cup of coffee that is also a really nice feeling and now I have to decide what I want to eat for breakfast and this is what I decided to eat this morning two fried eggs and Indian roti I need to eat eggs every day. Okay, so what I just did is I did I attached the body and the lining of the pouch to the zipper and top stitched the body part. And now I am going to put right sides together, both sides, and then stitch it all around, leave a little gap so I can turn the thing uh, inside out. No, right side out. <laughs> all right, let's do it. I have cut the corners on four corners, and then now I'm gonna match them up and sew it up like that, all four corners, and then turn it inside out, and we are pretty much done. Well, we gotta close this little hole that I left in order to turn the bag inside out with the pouch inside out. And let's pin and sew. And we are going to turn it inside out. So I like doing the zipper end like this uh, rather than just sew it into the side seam of the pouch. It just looks a lot nicer. And I don't know, the finishing just looks really nice and professional and just look like something you would buy in you know in retail stores so I like I like that look nothing wrong with just sewing it into the side seams I am just gonna pull it tight like that just gonna do a top stitch across the base end to end and that's the last step let's straighten this out a little bit and actually, I would like to give it a good press and then it is done. 